show you a little bit more behind the scenes of our turtle feeding and training sessions because you seem to enjoy our ray one so much. So Amy here is in the water. Um, Amy and I both work with the loggerhead sea turtle, and so Amy will be target training our turtle today with some nice clam tongue. So what's going to happen first is Amy's going to hop in the water, and um, that means I'm going to put together three clam tongue for her. And one of these clam tongue um, halves have a vitamin sandwiched right in there as well. So the target is the first thing I'm handing Amy, and then the tongs, which have all of those clam tongs sandwiched in there. You'll notice as Amy jumps in the water that she will bang the tongs and the target together. And this is an auditory cue for our turtle. So the turtle has linked the target and the to food meaning that when she comes to the target she will get food but that auditory cue is also another sign for her that hey it's time to feed um go ahead and come up to the target oftentimes when we first get into feed two the turtle is asleep and she kind of has her head tucked in the corner of the tank so that auditory cue is a first sign to like a hey it's time to wake up almost like an alarm clock so our turtle can go quite a few hours without taking a breath while she's sleeping or resting. So a lot of times during that first target, uh, she'll come up and she'll take a few breaths before coming to the target for food. So what you're seeing here is an important part of the training process. Uh, it's the option of choice. If the animal doesn't want to come over um, to see the target, maybe it's not hungry, maybe it's not interested. We let the animal work on its own terms and it leads for every training session to be different. Variability is really important for these animals. And so giving it the choice of a variety of food items, a variety of locations for, for feeding, different uh, aquarists being involved in the feeding, have a little bit of different styles um, is also important in training our animals and giving them a varied and stimulating life. So one of her favorite food items that we feed her is fresh salmon. So in these next clips, you'll see Mike. Uh, he also cares for the loggerhead sea turtle along with Amy and I. And you can see that he is feeding her big salmon steaks. And so this is farmed salmon and we get it sent actually from Norway. That's the most sustainable way to get fresh salmon. And yeah, she will target very eagerly for that salmon. So it's actually really fun to feed her that um, and see that behavior with her. So a couple of reasons why we target train our loggerhead sea turtle and some of our other animals at the aquarium. This is a really positive way to build a relationship with your animals. And it also allows for us to do a couple things with her husbandry. We can one, ensure her diet, make sure that she's getting all of the food that she needs and all the vitamins that we also place in her food. It also allows for us to do uh, safe vet procedures. So this turtle lives in a two-story tank and in order to take her up and out of the water, we have to target her into a basket. So instead of having to put any hands on her or guide her into the basket at all, what we're able to do is just use that target and she'll follow that target into the basket. We're able to lift her up and out and then put her back in the water. So she associates that target with positive things and we can use that to our advantage to make it less stressful for her and also less stressful for us. So that was a kind of fun sneak peek of how we do our turtle target training. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully we can see you guys all real soon. Take care.